All right, we finally did it. We finally uh, got our payout from Zergpool in Bitcoin. Uh, for the last, let's see, I'm going to say 20 days or under 20 days, I have been mining all my CPU rigs on Zergpool. Looking at their profit pull index by going to the pull here, right? Clicking on pull, seeing which algorithms are the most profitable for CPU mining. Right. So then what I do, I take my hash rate times their estimated profit or their uh, 24 hour or their actual. I would just go by the estimate, even though it's usually pretty high. It's not accurate. Obviously, it's an estimate. And then I would pick the uh, uh, the um, algorithm and go with that. So, for example, say I was going to do. Oh, I lost it. Where's Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider. I am looking for Ghost Rider. Here we are. So say Ghost Rider uh, 0.05. It went up. Kill a hash. So let's see what's on Ghost Rider. And I would pick the two coins and say RTM slash BTRM. And I would get paid out in Bitcoin. So I finally hit the threshold. And uh, let's see what that was. It was about 0 .01, 0 0.0015 Bitcoin. I hit that and I finally received my payout. You know, during that time, Bitcoin obviously was crashing. So I received about, let's see if this highlights it. Oh, it's not going to highlight it. Come on. Sometimes when you mouse over, it gives you the value. So uh, it's more than that. So let's see. One, two. It's about 30 bucks. So that's one, two. So I did. Here's my payout. One, five, three, six, seven. I got all of that. So that was pretty cool. It ended up in my wallet, and I'm very happy with that. I did get all my stuff off the exchanges. Now I'm getting stuff from the exchange and saying, you must comply. All of our customers, you must comply with uh, some stupid sanction thing that our stupid government's doing. It's like more rules, more rules, more rules. Get off exchanges. Get off any remaining lending platforms, guys. Put your crypto in your hard wallets, your desktop wallets, wherever. Your keys, your coins, do not have them on exchanges, even for the measly 3% interest. It used to be worth it, but now everything's kind of going honky wonky, man. It's uh, crazy times. I would not trust my money. I don't even trust my stocks sitting out in, a, in on my accounts out there like Vanguard, Ameripro. I don't trust them out there. I'm afraid they're going to disappear. I just don't trust the government. I don't trust these financial institutions. But for crypto, I'm able to pull it locally and it's my coins. And here's a good example. I'm moving financial, some legacy money, retirement money from one institution to another. It's been over a month. Whereas Bitcoin, I removed, I moved as much money as that in a matter of under a half hour. It just shows you the power of Bitcoin. I paid a couple bucks. Woohoo. I hate legacy financial systems. It's just a pain in the butt. I'm still waiting for the check to show up. So anyway, enough of that. Hey, I uh, when I ran my stuff, I'm using SRB Miner. You can look over here. This is, oh, I got one running it. So I, I, I turned off my rigs off on this guy. I wanted to try something different. So I had uh, like 10 rigs running and you can see my codes. I was in, the, in this case, I was mining Maza, LCC and AVN all in Minotaur X. And uh, I was on solo and I was doing OK. Some days I do OK. Sometimes I some days I wouldn't. You can see down here my payments. Uh, I even tried Ethereum Classic because they have Ethereum on here. But I did that with my GPU just to see. But if you click on Ethereum, you will notice Oh, where oh, is it Ethereum or ETC hash? I am slow. Yeah, Ethereum Classic, ETC baby. So if you look on, if you click on their pull status and you click on the algo, the algorithm, and you will see they uh, they don't receive them that frequently. So very sparsely. So it's really not wise or makes sense to mine Ethereum Classic on Zerg pull at this time. They do now have ETH hash as well. Then here I saw it. I don't know where it went. Uh, let me check. There's ABC. ETH hash is new. You can always look at the number of miners and the number of solo people to get an idea if people know about it or they're using it. But in Ethereum, you can set all these coins up and uh, let Zergpool pick the most profitable in your GPU and knock yourself out. Looks like ETH is, is paying out. I mean, they are getting blocks of other stuff. Acroma, er, Ethergem, Ethergem. Uh, transaction service fee. What's that? Oh, well, whatever. Uh, there you go. Let's go back to my wallet. So this is my Bitcoin crapo. Uh, I did get my payouts. Pretty cool. It took a long time, like I said, with CPUs. 
I was I, I found going solo was okay, but again, it's I still have to balance whether I'm, if I'm going to do shared mining up here versus solo. You got to have a lot of hash just to uh, make it worth your while. Otherwise, your rigs will just be sitting there spinning, chewing up a valuable, expensive electricity. I don't know about you, but in our area, everything's gone up 25%, even electricity, at least electricity even said. The bills on average will be 25% higher in June 2022. Yeah, you know who to thank for that. Okay, let's go on, my God. All right, oh, I got 3%. What do I have 3%? Oh, stuff was still maturing. I still got stuff coming in. So what I might do after I uh, try my other experiment, I might pop back and uh, do some ghost rider mining and get paid out in Bitcoin. I just want to get as much Bitcoin as I can possibly get before this thing goes to the moon in 200 years, uh, whenever it goes to, or it's going to go to zero. I don't know. But it seems in the code and the algorithm of Bitcoin, they have factored in this pattern where they're trying to let people know they're paying attention to, hey, we have a little pattern here every four years, the thing's going to go to... Um, higher lows and higher highs, so you may want to uh, get as much as you can. I don't know. It just seems to be a pattern of four years. That's just my guess. I have no idea. Right now, I'm just like, what am I going to do? I do not want to burn a lot of electricity. I was just playing with my CPUs, and I was playing with the GPUs on Zergpool, and it worked. I was able to mine multiple algorithms, and, and it showed all my rigs, CPU, and GPU, and I was getting my pay, uh, my Bitcoin wallet payout right here. It wasn't much. It's We're talking pennies. Pennies. Yeah, we're talking pennies a day and it's not life changing, but it's just something to play with and something to experiment with. So go check it out. You can play around with Zergpool, become your own profit, profitable coin miner if you want uh, versus let NiceHash do it. And if you're doing CPUs on Unminable or NiceHash, note that CPU mining only uses Monero XMR, which is not the most profitable algorithm for CPU mining. You got to get your hash rate. Take one of your CPUs run it against each of the algorithms you think are going to be work out for you run it for a little bit get the average hash rate you know what i mean it's going to be different for every algorithm take that hash rate go down to the pool status blah 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 multiply that say argon and you can say oh minus this or, or times that your hash rate times that write them all down do a little spreadsheet it's not that hard do the work if you're not going to do the work you know you're not going to make money right you're going to waste your time you're going to waste your electricity like ETH, oh, that's GPU. You can look at all these guys. You can try it. But I also, like I said, I will click on the, oh, uh, let's see. I will click on the algorithm itself, and I will go over, say, ETC hash, right? Oh, that looks awesome. I have a GPU. I'm going to run against that on Zergpool. But then you got to go look and say, holy crap, they're not getting many blocks in seven days, 10 days, three weeks. Not worth it. I want stuff that's coming in every few minutes. Uh, yeah, that's what I do. All right, that's all I got. Let's do a quick market wrap up. 20,000 Bitcoin. Wow. Ethereum is 1,100. I'm debating whether to get more Ethereum before it uh, stops uh, being proof of work. I don't know. What, what, what do you think? I have no idea. I do like getting Bitcoin. Whatever the Bitcoin does, the market does. So it's a trade off. I'm just debating right now, but I'm playing with some other stuff right now, trying to figure out what is the best algorithm in mine. The rigs are off, mainly because profitability uh, bites, bites, uh, bites dirt or just sucks, man. So, uh, yeah, I, I can, I don't know. Plus I don't want the heat. It's hot out today. I don't want this building heating up more than it has to. So I just shut those down. Maybe at night I might run the GPUs against, uh, uh, ether mine. Uh, I've done two miners quite a bit to get Bitcoin. I don't know. I got to figure out if I want to get to a certain number of Ethereum, but it's hard to accumulate Ethereum now because of everything going on it's just hard to stack them so i don't know that's where i'm at i'm going through this in my brain got to get out of my head flip a coin but i usually go with my gut and i uh, got the bitcoin i'm happy 40 bucks is 40 bucks and maybe that'll be 1 million bucks one day or maybe it'll be zero and uh people will be laughing aha you wasted all that electricity <laughs> and now you got zero huh? oh well stocks go to zero too man all right Advice of the day is do not watch YouTubers. Do it for entertainment value only, even financial people on YouTube. Uh, I'm finding a lot of these guys, you sit back and uh, pull out 30,000 feet and go, wow, man, this is all just for entertainment. You guys got to realize that. I'm just a dude in a, in a server room sweating. And uh, all these other guys too, they're just documenting what they're doing and they're not, they're not financial advisors. Even those jokers suck. I had financial advisors. They will do everything they can to uh, use your money so they can charge you lots of uh, expenses and fees while you do not profit. Trust me, 
I've been there. I will never use a financial advisor again. They, uh, you can do it. You, you're just as smart as them. You just got to read an extra book to them. They're idiots. All right. Do not trust financial people. Do not listen to people on YouTube. Do it for entertainment only. Get a chuckle and uh, go out and enjoy the sunshine. I'm out of here. I am out. I'm finally done babbling. And we stayed in at 10 minutes. Woo. All right.